Sharing with Scratch. Sharing with Scratch. Sharing with Scratch. Sharing with Scratch. Sharing, 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 sharing with Scratch. Welcome to another episode of Sharing with Scratch. I'm Erin. And I'm Vanessa. Today's topic is brainstorming. What is brainstorming? Brainstorming is a means of generating ideas in an open, safe, critique-free manner. And a brainstorm is a great way to get ideas flowing. It provides students with a lot of entry points to participation. For example, this session involves creating an open-ended, arts-based project. And brainstorming at the start of the session can open minds to all of the artistic possibilities. What fantasy world are you two in? Brainstorming is a messy, lackluster waste of time that doesn't work in a classroom. Tell us how you really feel, Walt. I'll do you one better. I'll show you. Take a look at this clip of my class during a brainstorming session we attempted last week. See this? This is brainstorming not working. Maybe they were confused or they didn't care, but either way, brainstorming became an excuse to zone out. And even if they do participate, good luck keeping them on task. Brainstorms can take students far afield, and pretty soon I've got a monkey house on my hands. <laughs> now consider that I get these kids for an hour a day. Do I really want to spend that time gambling on an activity that will either go too far or not far enough? Brainstorming? Bah! More like brain wasting. Really, Walt? Really? You're gonna have to come with me. So the way I heard it, you have three big problems with brainstorming. Lulls, meandering, and time wasting. Bring it on, brainstorm zombies. Lulls. Worried about lulls? Break students into small groups of two or three to start the conversation. After a few minutes, bring everyone back together and collect ideas from each group. Small groups can really help to get ideas flowing. Don't be afraid of lulls. Encourage your students to push past their initial ideas. Sometimes lulls mean the good stuff is yet to come. Bam! <laughs> Take that, lull zombie. Meander. To keep students on task, make sure you have a clearly defined problem or question. You might want to write it down at the front of the room to maintain focus. But sometimes getting a little off topic can open students up to a whole new world of possibilities. Remember, in a brainstorm, there is no right or wrong answer. It's a process of discovering possibilities. Meandering? hi -ya! Time ways. I get it. Time is always an issue, and always will be. But it's valuable to give students time to generate ideas. Trust your instincts. If it's going well, stick with it. If it's not, slap a time limit on it and move on. But please don't think of it as useless fault. Brainstorming is a great way for everyone to get involved and to spark ideas in your classroom. hi -ya! Erin and Vanessa, it's all yours. She is unstoppable! Seriously, every time she lines it up and knocks it down. Bam! There you have it, brainstorming. Tune in next time for which episode? Remixing! 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 I'm Erin. And I'm Vanessa. I'm Erin. <laughs> and this is... Sharing with Scratch! Bounce, 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 bounce. Sharing with Scratch. Sharing with Scratch. Sharing with Scratch. Sharing with Scratch. Sharing, 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 sharing with Scratch. <laughs>